All right, Bronco lovers, Jeff in Omaha, uh, Bangs Bronco Corral. Just thought I'd do a quick walk around of my 89 Bronco II. I've made a couple of modifications since the last update. Um, you can see the roof rack I got on there. You know, I don't know how much I'll use it. It'll hold the golf clubs, but uh, that thing's, they're just cool. They make them look pretty rugged. Um, I got these 33 inch uh, tires on here um, that I got from a gentleman who sold them off his Jeep uh, with the ion uh, alloy wheels. And I have added those bully side steps. Uh, you can kind of see those things. I'm not in love with those. Um, you know, they, they don't mount super securely. They're a little bit uh, soft when you step on them. I'll show you what they look like inside. I mounted them through the, uh, the truck there. You could drill a couple holes. Um, so yeah, they're okay. But again, this thing for an 89, it's really clean. It's all original paint. Those are my custom stickers. I mentioned those in another video. I do have the original Bronco 2 badges um, that I could easily put right back on there. But when I power washed the badges, they came off. And you can see a little bit of paint scrapage behind the stickers. But I, I thought those stickers were cool. They're the new, the new Bronco logo. So I thought that was kind of a neat thing. <laughs> you know, again, I've got the uh, Smitty built. Uh, XRC or RC 9500 winch with the Jeep bumpers that I had custom uh, fab to fit and then that uh, custom grill that we made um, just with the little black plate and the Ford uh, emblems I think that's really cool um, we got the full James Duff on here as well uh, I still got the Dana 28 and the 75 on it I'm not sure what I'll do it's not like I take this and jump it off cliffs, so and nothing's broken. Um, I'm not really that concerned about it. You know, we do have the James Duff dual shocks uh, with the long arms under there, you can see those. I actually have the Rough Country shocks and I got Rough Country coils, and I think that's a mistake on the coils. They're stiff. I'm gonna try some Jeep coils on there to see if it softens up this front end a little bit because I'm not in love with the bounciness of the thing. But, you know, overall, Pretty hard to beat that thing. I mean, there's not a lot of 63,000 miles Carfax uh, proven, uh, owned by an old lady that towed it behind a motorhome. The Broncos around that haven't been all molested or rusted. And this thing came from Dallas. Um, I do have a full size spare. Uh, truck inside's pretty cool as well. I'll show you some of that stuff. Whoops, door's locked. I guess we'll walk around and do it the hard way. You know, I got the light bar up there um, and then these lights on the front. So I've got some cool switches inside that we'll, we'll show you. That's kind of my switch panel there. You can see Sasquatch and the other lights. The winch switch I don't really use. Um, kind of dirty in here, but uh, it came with those Bronco 2 original mats. I just think those things are neater than heck. Hard to find. Um, cool bench seats original a um, little bit of wear on it but no rips and obviously the back's really good I did put vinyl flooring in the whole truck I pulled out the carpet part of the deal was buying a truck from a little old lady's it smells like little old lady and that wasn't great you know kind of that musty smell when you go to your grandmother's house that you, know, you just smell it on her sweater that she wears all the time around the house or her cardigan that's what this thing smelled like a little bit, so I had to get rid of that. And so, got a couple other deals cooking. Uh, here's my kind of parts <laughs> parts barn place. Got a dual exhaust from a V8. I've got a recent uh, nine inch axle purchase with all the four link stuff to go on it. You can see the four link mounts on top of the axle there. Um, got some seats. Seats from another Bronco. I got a good looking dash there. A couple of spare things. There's a spare gate, which is really nice off an 86. A couple of hoods. Uh, this thing's really cool. Nobody's seen this yet. That is a 87 B2 mounted to a 75 early Bronco frame. Bought this from a gentleman in Tennessee. Um, so it's an EB motor, 302 motor. E, uh, EB transmission at a C4. The whole suspension's EB. It's got the Dana 44 and the 
I think it's a 30 in the front and a 44 in the back. I'm not even sure. So that's a project that's going to happen. It runs and drives, but the transmission needs some work. Um, and then this thing I've shown you before. Uh, I'm getting really close, actually. That's a 351 V8. It's a Bronco 2 frame. Full James Duff. Uh, stage 3. Um, C4 transmission. Um, and it's going to have... 37 inch tires and I'm going to drop a body on that very very shortly so this project will happen probably in the next four or five months um, the Bronco 2 uh, EB I don't, I don't know what I'll do with that thing I may just keep that it's so cool um, up here is kind of the used tire corral uh, we do have a 2.0 EcoBoost motor um, 35,000 miles it was a pullout from the local Ford dealer the guy wanted a full drivetrain pullout, and the motor was perfect. So I bought that for 150 bucks, really. 2.0 for 150 bucks. There's no turbos on it. Um, there's some 37s. One of them's brand new, but the 37s are going to go on that project I just shown you. And then that is a extra uh, <laughs> headliner, a naked headliner. So I'm going to have to use that on something else. And I got some roll-around tires here, um, you know, to put on different things. I do have a steering column back here too. That's really good. That's off a 90 automatic. Um, so that thing's good. So anyway, uh, that's kind of the update from Bangs Bronco Corral today. I've got some stuff in my garage at home that's really cool as well. Um, I did buy this project out of Texas, Oklahoma actually, and I got all that stage three early James Duff, like the original when they made the stage three Duff. There's front and rear track bars, all the shocks. I've got a whole container in here of all the extra parts. That's a uh, tranny cross member. There's dual shock brackets in there. And then with that, I got these. These were mounted. Um, those are kind of cool. He had those mounted on the frame. Um, probably need to be cleaned up a little bit. And I got some James Duff V8 headers that are really hard to get that were chromed as well. And I didn't know what they were, but I contacted my buddy uh, in Michigan and he told me that, yeah, hey, those are the James Duff um, Bronco headers. So anyway, that's kind of the latest update in here. I've got a, oh, what are those called? Coverlay in that box. It's a blue coverlay to lay over one of the dashes that's cracked that I'm using. Um, and so... That's kind of it for now. I got a bunch of stuff, some extra doors and stuff that are not rusted off of a 90. Oh, I got another roof rack there, the Harbor Freight roof racks. They're really actually really good for it was $94 on sale or something like that. So anyway, that's it for today. Signing out.